Welcome back everyone to Fallout Doomsday from Darkest Tower. Yes, the Brother of Steel is indeed gone, and that's what we did last time, so I don't even have to resume that discourse. So this time I think we're gonna go after Necropolis and maybe New Reno as well. We have lots of manpower still in the bank. Uh, our descent is going down. And in general, we just have uh, all the cards in the right place to invade that wretched piece of dirt that is Necropolis. So I'm moving troops about, uh, just trying to... Hey, what? Okay. Uh, just trying to keep everything under my control. Uh, Gatling lasers. Thanks. So wait, why did you not stop? Why did you not pause? I do not know. Okay. Wait, no, because that's upgrades. Thought it was uh, technology, but no, it looks like technology is doing fine. Yep, it does pause when I'm uh, doing technology things. Nice, uh, that was chrysalis. So I believe attachment techs, or maybe no, unit techs. Yes, unit techs. APCs are still a little bit far away. Which is bad. Too, too bad. I can get some attachments. Or industrial tech. Now that's way too far off. No secret tech that we can do. So yeah, I'm gonna do M60s. Okay, so everything's going fine. Upgrades and reinforcements are all coming about, as they should be. What's our stockpile? Oh, quite high, so we could keep quite a lot of supplies at least. Then you're gonna get attached to somebody. Just gotta find somebody who's alone. Like that. And yes, uh, so Necropolis technically has 51 troops. That's what we can see, at least. So we're just gonna try to be uh, mindful of that because there's a lot of men there. A lot of men that we probably don't want to fight all at once, but that we might have to. Uh, does San Francisco have the scent? Yes, it does. So we should probably keep troops there. On anti-partisan. I'm making use of the hub forces for this because they've got a lot of those. And we can just make use of them. Uh, apocalyptic mercs. What? Oh, right. Unit attacks. And now we got the stealth boys. Nice. So, um, wait, what? Okay, sure. Uh, so we can put them on basically any of our units. What I want to put them on is... Where are you? I really do not know. I'm gonna have to find them. My power armor units. Here. There they are. So I'm gonna grab Stealth Boys and give it to them. And then I do not know if I actually have any troops that have a particular high level of veterancy. For example, do you have veterancy? You have some. Yeah, it looks like a lot of our battalions do have some veterancy, but not anything too major.
I could just give it to my scouts. Mostly because I don't think that the scouts really have anything else that I can give them. Let's see if I can find a scout. Mm, no. There. I am pretty certain that you cannot get artillery on scouts. So perhaps giving them the stealth boy is a decent idea. So these troops will not be very, very useful. At the very least. Now also the troops that I'm deploying now should be quite well experienced. Yeah. So it really doesn't matter. Uh, mostly because our uh, army is mostly a paid army, so that increases the organization or the experience you get by 15. In fact, let's just make the next step once we are ready. Uh, is there anything that we need to be prioritizing? Yeah, I would like to finish off these attack helicopters. And these interceptors aren't quite as important right now. So you're going down. Hmm. Raider Freeze. These look pretty good. Yeah, let's build a few of these and get them up and running. Of course, we're also going to upgrade our other units uh, that are supposed to be raiders with that kind of technology. Uh, hold on, not you. Not you. Do you even have any? I'm pretty sure we're supposed to have some. Hub. And yeah, none of these are actually ours. Most of these are from the hub. Nope, so we don't actually have a mobile force yet. Well, other than the units that we were given at the start of the game, of course. Our APCs and our tanks. But they don't count. Oh, so our Air Force seems to be still flying around. They do not need to do that. Hold on. Uh, air superiority, no. So our fighters performed really well in the last war. Did you get a lot of experience? No, you didn't, which is very unfortunate. The experience gain in this game is extremely low. It's also really easy to lose that experience. So actually experienced units are very, very valuable. Field guns. All right, so I can get the plasma grenade. These are relatively close in technology level with what we have. Our Kurtz's camp wants a white piece. Sure. Let's do that. Wait. Wait, what? How do I control Moab? Well, I guess it was there? I am really not sure how this is my territory. I seem to have forgotten, which is pretty funny. Uh, yeah, so Necropolis. We can declare war on them and it's only going to increase the descent by 2.2%. Our forces all around though still aren't ready. So we're going to wait until... Uh, some of these are from Broken Hills, who appear to be out of manpower. Yep, out of manpower. Uh, can't, I don't think we can disband their units now, can we? Nope, we cannot. Because it isn't ours. Which is sad, Which because it would be nice if these units were to be uh, all resupplied. But it seems like our units around here are about as ready as they'll ever be. And the helos 
can ground attack in uh, the province at day. Do they have an air force? Do they have an air force? Where would I see that? They appear to not have one. And that would make sense. I mean, they're pretty small. They do have some industrial capacity, of course. Okay, um, yeah, right. I need to declare war first. Everybody except you. Attack. Wait, what? I guess you cannot attack because you are a... Ah, uh, damn it. Uh, you have a bunch of garrisons there, so you cannot attack. There we go. Uh, there somehow are no garrisons here. Let's see if I can find somebody who isn't a garrison. Like you. All of you can help the attack. And I think we're going to be able to defeat them. Yes, we are. Nice. So they have tons of different units. But they actually have a lot of ghouls. Which makes sense. They even have some stealth boys, so they appear to be very advanced in some areas. And yeah, so all their ghouls will not save them from our tanks, of course, so that's pretty fine. Okay. Er, are we going to be able to kill them? We took a fair amount of losses, so far 2,000. And there, we, there they are, good. So they're all dead. And we can annex them. Very nice. So you can stop the movement like this, like this, and like this, and like this as well. So that you're all standing still, good. So we are now going to be uh, We're now going to be trying to rebuild these units, and then we're going to move against uh, New Reno, who are kind of annoying. Good, so that's all the aircraft standing by. And after we take New Reno, I believe we're going to have quote unquote all of California. Uh, despite the fact that, of course, there is the hub, but I'm not sure if allies do count. Uh, ooh, peace returns to the NCR. Tell the people of the New California Republic, the NCR Council has signed peace with our foes, the war is over. Join me in a minute silence to remember our brave soldiers who all gave their lives to keep the NCR dream alive. The honor are dead. So that decreases the scent, which is fine. I like my descent low. Even more upgrades. That's pretty good. Uh, interceptor wings. Finally. We're going to be trying to uh, get those interceptor wings operational slowly, just so that they don't really overwhelm our production capacity. Because that would be pretty bad. Okay. You're getting air, air bases, which is pretty decent. And now... I do have unrest in San Jose, which is annoying as hell. Any unrest there? No, I don't. So I'm going to send you over to San Jose. Not sure why I have a garrison there. Send him to the coast. Uh, then I can take you guys and send them up to the capital. 
I can take everybody but you. And I guess you as well. Although, I just noticed that we should indeed keep that unit moving because it's got a uh, super mutant. Two super mutants, in fact. So we can use them quite effectively as well. And we're going to send this Californian regiment there instead. Just to keep order and peace among the liberated territories, etc, etc. So we got the 10 paid army. And next we are going to move towards private. I think private economy. What would that do? I'm guessing it would decrease some upgrade cost up to time. Okay, so it's pretty much the same thing as um, free market in... Uh, Darkest Tower. That means it is pretty good. Okay, so things getting fine tuned a little bit. Uh, the South is still pretty normal, and then after taking out Urino, I'm gonna go after the Vipers. Now, this is of course going to be uh, giving me quite a lot of. Hold on. This is of course going to be giving me quite a lot of aggressive expansion or belligerence, as it is called in this game. Uh, that's fine, honestly. Some people are going to be not very happy about that. But that's a lot of people that wouldn't be happy about us regardless. Uh, let's try to get the Pioneers into the Alliance. So they refuse, but we can get them into the Alliance if they're just a little bit more persuasive. Your merchant state, which means that you are not really going to be caring about alliances. Which goes both ways. I mean, they're not really going to care about attacking us as well. And since they are a little bit like secluded in areas that we don't really care about too much, we can let them be there. Uh, they can be a buffer for the enclave. And yeah, so far, the only really people that we are going to be looking at are the pioneers. Strengthen the alliance. Ooh, so we got the Firehawk. Very nice. Uh, we can get some more prop fighters, I think. Although we don't have any prop fighters around, so we can upgrade our jets. That would be a little bit better. And more companies. Very nice. We still got those barter mercenaries. Not sure where they are, actually. Uh, where are they? I've still also got my truck mounted people. Uh, you haven't gotten upgraded, which is interesting. Uh, I'm gonna send you on over to the uh, border with uh, the Vipers. Although I think it would be better to put them there. Because these people are pretty fast, and that's good. Because our other people aren't fast at all, and that's not good. Yeah, I've got my mercenaries spread about. They're pretty worthless. So I'm just going to keep them there when they can be useful. Now, we can liberate some nations, but we don't really care about that. Because it's mostly nations that we have just taken over. Uh, can we do that? I think I'm just gonna try to influence you first. Slowly but surely. Uh, and also, we could try to increase our intelligence. So we're up to 16. We can try to steal some tech from the Enclave. 10% of chance we have failed. Just trying to use some of our excess money. Maybe from you, we failed. Uh, we could try to coup you, actually. We have a 1% chance, and it's very expensive. So perhaps we're going to be waiting a little bit more until we have some more techs in that regard. Uh, basic mercenaries, very good. Get the improved ones. Hmm. I don't think we should be doing intelligence work against our allies. 
that would be indeed very bad. Don't really care about broken hills anymore, they're our allies. So we don't need to butter them up all that much. I don't think there's really any way in which they can... Well, they can of course break off, but the AI don't usually do that. Okay, perfect. Uh, we also need to uh, get some more upgrades on the line. Very nice. That's probably our helicopters. Fundamental atomic power. Wait, this was here. Or rudimentary. And I can also get the basic one. So, see no point in not doing that. Uh, but we are going to do that with Chryso Ghouls because science is a little bit less important than technical efficiency and industrial engineering. Uh, which is going to allow nukes, actually. If our test reactor is advanced enough. I'm not sure if that's going to be at reactor size 3 or like in the standard game 6, I believe, is the reactor size that you need for nukes. But I guess we're just going to have that. Uh, can we actually... Hold on. Can we actually, right now, build the reactor? Yes, we can build the reactor. And it may lead to data centers. Uh, which... Ooh, we have never researched this, now have we? So we should probably do that. And data centers... Where is it? Here. Uh, which is going to allow the building data center. Which increases your research of certain types. So we're going to... Uh, build the nuclear reactor. I'm gonna put it there. It is very expensive at 15 IC and it's gonna take quite a bit of time to build. I believe it's like a few months. Yeah, December 25th. So, like 10 months to build. Not the best thing, but not the worst. Oh, I see some enclave submarines actually running about. Yep, I believe those are Enclave submarines, so we're also going to have to upgrade our navy when we fight the Enclave. Uh, our navy right now has desperate need of some... Desperate need of some uh, upgrading. Animal genetics, that was in Secret Tech. Very good. Uh, we could get talking animals, which would increase our land organization by 10% for some reason. And a lot of things, actually, it's going to increase. A lot of very good things. So, I think it's a no-brainer. We're gonna get those talking animals. Uh, is it better to go with Barclay or Caltech? That would be either chemistry or medicine. Uh, medicine is just slightly more important. So, medicine. Okay. You have zero uh, Revolt Risk, which is weird, because I thought it would have a little more. Okay, so I think we're about as ready as we're ever going to be to fight, uh, to fight uh, Mr. New Reno. We should probably butter up the defenses in some of these areas. Oh, more helos. Nice. Of course, this is a problem because this helo is very outdated. So we're going to need to upgrade them quite quickly. More stealth boys. Nice. Going to get them on the barter scouts. Uh, it doesn't tell me where exactly it went, which is annoying. Okay, so down here. Uh, I can... where's the other scout? Here. Uh, I can get these two and put them in one group. And replace... with a garrison. Like that. Oh, more stealth boys, nice. So I guess we can also put them on the infantry. 
Now I should have some better units running about. Where are they? I do not know necessarily. I guess you can also get the stealth boys. I definitely have a lot of forces here, but most of those are hub. And oh, okay, so I've got a few units in Porterville. I don't think Porterville has any descent. No, it doesn't. So I can send them on the way. Okay, proved mercs, very nice. So I think we can now upgrade all these mercs. Or we cannot. Can we upgrade you? It says it's going to get uh, upgraded to Merc 3. And I'm guessing that that means that we have to get the scum and then hired guns and then bounty others. Which is annoying. Annoying as hell. Hey, at least we get more interceptors. <laughs> How annoying. Actually, hold the fort. I'm gonna get all these and put them in my capital so that they can attack on Nevada City instead of wasting themselves on Sacramento, which is not a place that's very important because we can just surround it. I don't think you have an air force now, do you? No, you don't. So I have like trillions of divisions surrounding them. I don't think they're going to be able to stand against their onslaught. No, that's like 100 divisions. Definitely too strong for them. They can still put up a fight and be very annoying, so we're going to have to be a little bit careful about that. I wonder if cooing the, them is going to be easier if we increase their descent, which would be in a uh, smear campaign? Yeah. Uh, I really do not know. Failed. And they found out about the attempt, so they're gonna be a little bit mad. We don't really care about influencing the Enclave, we care about their technology. Can we steal it? It's failed. Not good. You hear a Firehawks, good. So we're getting our helicopters upgraded. We can sell some resources at the caravans. So how did these new helicopters look compared to their predecessors? Hold on. Uh, they're a little better. Actually not that good. Which is kind of annoying, although they're actually much less vulnerable. So it's going to be easier to keep them alive. That's fine. Motor infantry. Okay, so now we have our motorized troops as well. Uh, the terrain here isn't exactly that great. Because there's a mountain and then a uh, desert. I mean, I guess they can be okay in the desert. Send them back. And they are indeed pretty fast. So that's nice, at least. Plasma grenades. And oh, right. I still had the mercenary tech that didn't do the. And that's a problem. Um, let's do heroism, which was something that we needed to do for a while. Leadership is very important for this. 
Do we have anyone with leadership? I do not know. No, we don't. So let's just do the Presidio. And then, I guess, uh, that was in grenades, right? Uh, we can get this field guns. And that's going to be the end of that. I'm out of time. I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. Wait, what? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. Hope you continue to enjoy this lovely playthrough as the NCR. And I'll see you soon with a 92 division attack on Reno, which will hopefully bring our domination of California to its logical conclusion. And I'll see you soon.